Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Nidel Haunts Chris Sam with some of the significant changes to M. Bison in Street Fighter Cross Tekken 2013. Uh, Bison's teleport has seen an increase in total frames from 42 to 51. Bison's teleport was a bit too fast in the previous version of the game, which meant that many characters could not catch him even if the teleport's ending location was properly guessed. By adding a little more recovery, Bison players will now have to be a bit more cautious when using this move. The light kick knee press now pushes back further on block. Bison's light kick knee press was a nightmare for some characters as it kept him up close and at an advantage. By increasing the pushback distance, uh, M-Bison players can still use this move for pressure, but will have to use some other moves to maintain pressure after the opponent blocks. Bison's EX knee press now knocks the opponent up instead of knocking them down. In the previous version, Bison's EX knee press always knocked the opponent down at the end, stopping any type of combo potential. Uh, with it now knocking up, Bison and his partner will be able to perform some damaging combos. The invincibility on Bison's knee press nightmare has been adjusted a bit. It now starts off fully invincible, but halfway through it becomes projectile invincible only. Uh, this was done as the move was unstoppable head on, even when done from far away. Bison players will now have to be confident on the range of the knee press nightmare activation or face being punished. With the addition of his EX knee press now knocking the opponent uh, up in the air, allowing for a bit more damage output, uh, Bison has only become stronger in 2013. He has seen a few adjustments here and there, but overall we think Bison players will be really pleased with these changes. And uh, once again, this is Nidel Haunts Grisan here for Capcom Fighters. Uh, if you want to know more about the 2013 changes, uh, check us out at Capcom Unity, or you can always hit us up at Capcom Fighters on Twitter.